question was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose and is the video convincing enough to overturn it a lot of factors here remember you also need clear possession of the football afterwards this is a tough one to overturn so that one overturned they say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble and again it's prescott working the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and the cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points well brandon obviously no panic in them they gave up the touchdown you know their defensive side did that but he's already taking them back downfield i love this field general that they've got it's almost like he went to the defensive captain said don't worry about it we got you now they got first and goal and we're seeing punch counter punch and this could be setting the table for quite the game i like that let's, let's go ahead and put in the boxing ring right you're going to get hit sometimes can you respond and hit back and they're trying to do exactly that Play action. Prescott. And he just chucked that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field that brings up third down. As you can see, they're not operating at full health today. That's been a big story the last couple of weeks. But the bottom line, the record is solid, and you know that this is still a very dangerous team, even with those guys missing. What they have shown us throughout this season is that this team is still focused. And some injuries, they're just not going to derail the momentum they built up all season long. They continue to go out there and play and get their best performances. And this one is right through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's get credit of Hurts, too, because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing. Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage. Back at the 17. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Now Love. And this is going to be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Returnable here from the 38. That'll go as a punt of 42, 7 on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. That's a good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and five. Prescott on play action. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. down as they're able to get the third down conversion his fourth catch already in this first quarter it's a first down after one seven three the score on ea sports start of the second quarter and it's the cowboys in possession they had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. 
Going right back to Ferguson. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Left side to Lola. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 13-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh shot of downs. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. He'll take it up the gut. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And in search of eight yards here as they look to convert the first down. And third down, it's Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll get it back within a point at seven to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there, called it the 26. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position. Right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're not string together a nice drive and help themselves out. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. To throw now, here's Love. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. To the air again, Love. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Giving seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he's caught, and he's got enough for the first to cross midfield to the 48. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Love. A chip down here to Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching Phil, and understanding defensively what the play design was. I love a throw caught by Dobbs. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 33. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. So many times in my career, coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 
some good running right there. And this is a man who's a thousand yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Percentage completion wise way up, not that time. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Rush coming and he's taken down. They overload him that time on the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. So, give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Love. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33 yard line. Demarcus Lawrence. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they bump the lead up to 4 0 and 10 6. So they're able to begin that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks you tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And now here come the Cowboys. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. First down, Prescott. And so far as the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play. The person would try to throw through contact and short of the sticks. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 44-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him now. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. So from the 37, here's second and four. Prescott now. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this down to the 32. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Prescott. He finds his man, complete. It's Ferguson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. A 
a second down throw for Prescott. Tosses the out run here to Gallup. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Dallas. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this one's right there, and that pushes the lead to 13-10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers with the football here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Play fake. Here's Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Love looking to throw it. Throw caught by Musgrave. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. He was waving his arms on the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of the story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what would you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He that wasn't real, th he wasn't real th thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The tackle by Matthew Ioannidis. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, once again, thank you. What a three days it has been. Just one more half of football remains on this Monday night in Super Wild Card Weekend. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where it was the Panthers who were able to come away with the home victory. 24-16 was how that one finished. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Cavante Turpin now to return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who was not a surprise too far now? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Throwing Prescott. This one can play to his fullback out of the backfield. Four yards to pick up, first down. Here's Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and five. Don't keep 
Now Prescott. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Defoe Gray Campbell, nice play to get in there and drop it. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys have to the sack? It's third and long. To throw is Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Wiggles free. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here, first and 10 at their own 26. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Four receivers in the package. Here's third and seven. It's caught on the sideline. He's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. And he'll send this one into the cold Lambeau night. This is fielded at the 27. We'll call this a 41-yard punt. Seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A second down throw for Prescott. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. They said they thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and now it's sending back to the draw. taken down right at the 45-yard line. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. First and ten, Prescott. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. And then to the right side and incomplete. And we're near the one score game in the second half. Now's not the time to force the football in places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of the way. Prescott, play action. And he's taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. Well, with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Prescott looks to throw on first. And his throw is incomplete. That was well played, but that's also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. On 
on second down. Prescott again. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion was left. He earned a little more attention on that one. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw on his left. Well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule. But I guarantee he quietly is told that you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And this one is right down the middle. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So it was a three-point lead at halftime, and they doubled that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Working out of the gun. Love. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Love now. That's complete to Dallas. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pick up here for the first down. First down, going to the air with Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, then when you get in these positions and you just say, everybody go long and hope someone will come free. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Now second and nine from the 10. Here's Love. And it's caught. Touchdown! Aaron Jones from 10 yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away from capturing the lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that will put them on top here in the third. This take it in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know 
Both the legs are up in the heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing, love, a short throw to Musgrave. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. Now Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw now, here's Love. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, first the ball free, and it's second down. Up the middle, Jones. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's caught, and he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 43. Give them 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. That's a play that likely will be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So these Packers and these Packer fans really thrive with the cold temperatures here at Lambeau. And their guys have the lead here with the first and ten. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium not anymore the lights are pretty good yeah they're great here at night but his second drop indeed not a good look now love he's got this complete to jones and he's dropped right at the 40 gain of three this will be the eighth play of the drive it's third and seven love A gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He's got his target. That's the play. And he is going to have the Packers first down. As they wind up getting four there on fourth and one. And inside give to Jones. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Play fake. Here's Love. He's got a man. It's his fullback. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Luke Musgrave, 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers will end their fourth quarter lead. Well, he's regarded.
regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder and harder to defend because now it's elite athletes playing that position, not just the big guys who can block. How about his ability to get downfield and make plays against any defense? Carlson's extra point up and good, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Right now, Charles, this is the drive of the season. You're on the road here in the playoffs. It's put up or shut up. They need points. This is where you have to come together as a team, as you just noted, on the road. So that means they've carried that mentality with them throughout. Hey, we've got to go out here and get a on ourselves, right? Focus, yet still find the fun in it. How great is this, guys? Look at the spot we're in right now. And then go to your top players, call the plays that they run best. Yeah, sort of controlling their own destiny, but this place has been loud. Not going to be easy. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Palmer. Nice little juke. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now second and three. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Prescott now. This one can play to his fullback out of the backfield. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now here's Pollard. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Prescott now on second down. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks from four yards out. And the Cowboys have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. All right, so the Cowboys will go for two here. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. Both these teams fighting for their playoff lives. All tied, fourth quarter, as the kick is away here. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. And now the Packers get set to go. And it's all on the line now, all even in this wild card matchup. Maybe their most important drive of the season coming up right now here, first and 10. Right side to Watson. Second down and a little more than a yard here. On play action. Love to throw. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Yeah. 
Love looking to throw it. Completes it again to Dobbs. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, second and four. Off the option, it's Jones. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The Packers on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and four. Back to throw. Love. And a throw the open there. That's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitch it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and to pull it for a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real four going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Nice throw brought in by Watson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A give to Jones. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, that's what you just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Packers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Love from the gun. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A great play there. With his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Now Carlson for the extra point. take a seven-point lead now. A pretty long drive that time. Eleven plays all total. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. They trail by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Their season, to be frank, it's on the line right now in this wild card matchup. And obviously points are a must here as they begin first and ten. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Prescott. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Prescott. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll throw again. Prescott. 
A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. From the 43, here's second down and five. Prescott to throw it. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Just right as Prescott. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football towards the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. They'll run forward with Pollard. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. It worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to put it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And a throw in first down there, but it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now Prescott. It's taken in by his big tight end, and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Prescott. Throw complete right side to Coates. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's second and a yard. Here's Prescott. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Aubrey now for the PAT. Sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Green Bay about set for another series. Here comes Romeo Dobbs. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen that have a big game like this? It's usually not by himself. It's usually an open to other people have big games as well. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. Now Love. Stop with 37 seconds to play. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. What a call right there. That is so well executed offensively. A massive play in this game. And now all of a sudden, they are in field goal range. And with a chance to walk out of here, winners. So here now is Anders Carlson in a really big spot. 
The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So nothing in importance. They're just the season on the line. And he puts it home to likely get them through to the division round. If you're a fan, you're watching this one with your hands over your eyes. But if you're a kicker, this is what you practice for all season long. And this one was never in doubt. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Dak. Able to find Gallup. And he'll be crowned well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second down. One last shot now for Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And Charles on the losing side of things. You know, they didn't come in here as the favorite to these playoffs, but they came in with a lot of hope and anticipation. Tough to have that all snuffed out so quickly. It really is. You're one of 12 teams when the playoffs begin that still has a chance to win the Super Bowl. So that's pretty darn good. And as you often talk about, a lot of hope when the playoffs start. Well, that ended for them. But when they look back, they'll have a lot to be proud of and see if they turn the page towards the next season. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.